In this video, I'm going to show you how to multicam edit inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got your two video clips on the timeline, we first just need to begin by syncing these clips together. So the easiest way to do this is to record a sync clip when you're filming. So all you have to do is start rolling your multiple cameras. So if you're shooting two cameras like I am in my example, film your A cam, film your B cam, roll them both. And then just before you start to talk or present in front of the camera, you just do a clap in front of your face. Essentially, what this would do is it would give you a visual marker. So at the point where the hands come together, that is where the two clips will sync. But it will also give you a spike on the audio waveform. And this is very easy to spot in an edit. So again, all you have to do is just look for that spike and then just sync up the multiple cameras to that audio spike. So if you've done that, all you have to do is just look for that spike. As you can see, it's quite easy to spot down here. So I'm just going to zoom in. We'll go to that sync clap there. Press C to load up the razor tool, and then we'll make a cut there. Press V and delete the first part of that video. Now we'll go to our second camera. Again, we'll zoom in. We can see we've got the sync clap here. So we'll wait until that sync clap so you can see the hands are touching there. And then there's also this audio waveform there. And then essentially what you do is you just put these on top of each other and they're now synced up. But if that's not working for some reason, then there is another technique that should work for you. So first of all, you just need to get rid of any audio tracks that you don't need. So we're just going to select everything. We'll right click and go up to unlink and that will unlink the video to the audio tracks. So on this video here, this is where this microphone was plugged into. So track two will solo that just to make sure. As you can hear, that is the audio. So I'm just going to delete one, three, and then everything below that. So I'll delete all of those and we'll pull this up onto audio layer one. We'll select both of those, right click and select a link. Now we'll go to the second video and we'll just listen to this audio. There is scratch audio that was filmed by the camera and that is on one and two, but I'm just gonna delete two and then everything below two. So I'll just keep one. And again, we're just going to link those two together. Now from here, we're just gonna drag this video. So the second video, we'll drag that up onto video layer two. We'll drag the audio onto audio layer two. So you've got the first clip on one and one, and then the second clip on two and two, as you can see, two across there. Now we're just going to select everything. We'll right click the first clip, and then we'll go up to synchronize. And that should load up this menu here. So you can either synchronize the clips by the clip start, the clip end, or using the audio. And I like to use the audio. So you want to select the track which your professional audio is on. So in my example, it was this first clip, which is on track one. So we'll select track channel one, press OK. And then Premiere is going to go ahead, analyze that clip for you. And it should put those two together perfectly synced up. Now, this video in my example, each take is around 20 minutes each. So it's going to take quite a long time for Premiere to analyze my video. So I'm just going to cancel that and I'll just do a manual sync. So I'll just drag these closer together sync up on the sync clap and then once they have been synchronized just unlink everything we'll delete that scratch audio so now we've just got that one audio channel and our two video clips and then you just want to go ahead and make sure these are actually synced so go to a specific point in the video i'm doing this really funny face here we'll just turn off this layer and as you can see i'm pulling that same face that is perfectly in time a great way of checking as well is to just turn off this layer and make sure the audio is playing in sync with this first video clip. It is. We'll turn that layer off, go to video layer two, turn that on, and that's also in sync. So we'll turn those both back on. Now, before we can edit this multicam footage, we need to go ahead and nest all of this into its own nested sequence. So we'll select all of those layers. We'll right click and we'll select nest. And you can rename this to whatever you want. I'm going to call it tutorial because that's what I was filming. And then from there, you just want to right click. We'll go into multi camera and select enable. This section is really important. Then from there, you just want to go up into this little settings icon. It looks like a tiny spanner. We'll press that. And then up here at the moment, we're on composite video. You want to go ahead and select multi camera. So this is the way that we're going to view the video. So we'll select that and as you can see, this is our video. This is how the video looks and then we've got the option to see our first camera and our second camera. 
So at the moment, this yellow border is around video clip one, and that's because that is the video clip that is currently being used. But if we press two, it's gonna to swap to the other video clip. And if we press one again, it will cut back to that clip. So all you have to do to live edit is to just play. And then let's start on one. Then we'll go to two. Then we'll go back to one. Back to two. And we'll just press space. And as you can see, we've got all of these different cuts here. So every time this cuts, it's going to change to the other camera angle. Now, let's say you selected a camera and you didn't actually want to select that camera. So maybe you're editing a show, for example, and the camera jolted at a specific moment in time. All you have to do is go back to that specific cut. So we'll go to this second clip. As you can see, we've selected two. So we've selected camera two. But if we wanted to go back to camera one, all you have to do is press one on that cut and it will change it back to camera one. So from here, all you have to do is just continue watching your video, continue monitoring all the different cameras that you have and just live cutting using one, two. And if you have three or four cameras, three and four as well. This is a really awesome and easy way of editing live shows in performances and interviews. It's great because you can see all of your takes playing at the same time. And that means if you see something that you don't want in one take, you just switch to the other one. And it means you're not having to solo layers and all of that nonsense. You can just quickly select the camera that you want and it will make the cut for you. So there you go. That is how you multicam edit inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.